Hello from Seoul. After a long day of work, whether you're a beginner or a professional chef, the last thing you want to do is make your own dinner, right? But don't worry about it. With me, you will have the simplest and the most satisfying dinner under 15 minutes. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Since I'm busy just like you guys, when I get home, I'm tired and I always look at delivery menus. But as you guys all know, my hungry bird at home can't wait that long. So I always get kicked out to the kitchen. What? It sounds like your story? Don't worry about it. These beautiful chili garlic noodles will save your ass. I guarantee it. For this, you will need green onion, garlic, bok choy, ground pork, and noodles. I'm using Taiwanese knife sliced noodles, but honestly, you can use whatever you have, like udon noodles, spaghetti noodles, or even rice noodles. So just grab anything that works for you. Trust me, everything will turn out fantastic. First, let's prep the vegetables. Slice some green onions into small pieces. Without this bad boy, the chili oil can be a little greasy. So let's add a little bit of freshness with this bad boy. And as always, more green onion, more delicious. So be super generous with this. Once you're done slicing, separate the white part and the green part. That's it. Next, finely chop 10 cloves of garlic. What? Too many garlic? All right, challenge accepted. Let me use five more garlic cloves. Because to Koreans, there's no such thing as too many garlic. So this time, I gotta say more garlic, more delicious. And like I always say, when chopping your garlic, make sure to give it a little bit of a smash so that it can release a lot more flavor. If this is something you haven't tried before, please give this a try. You will be surprised. This time, let's talk about the meat. Here, I've got 200 grams of ground pork, but you could also use any other protein. So don't worry about it. But if you're gonna use pork like me, get yourself a little knob of ginger because pork and ginger, they're match made in heaven. Once you're done grating the ginger, take some bok choy and cut it in half or quarters. Of course, you could just cut off the bottom and use individual leaves. But if you use it like this, it will look a lot fancier. So nobody will notice it took only 15 minutes, which means you can show off to your family or friends like I always did. Now let's move on to the sauce. Normally, to make the beautiful chili oil, we just put some chili flakes into the pan with some oil. But as you guys all know, they can burn quite easily. So we're gonna protect our precious chili flakes with some liquid. Just like Surfshark protect us on the internet. Nobody wants to be watched or tracked, even though you have nothing to hide. But if you use public Wi-Fi, hackers can steal your data. But don't worry about it. Surfshark will encrypt your online data so hackers won't be able to see what you're doing. I mean, all the important stuff stays private and secure. Not only that, you can change your current internet location to other countries with a single click, which means you can easily access different content that's only available in some other countries. For example, if you click on South Korea, you can enjoy more hidden content on Netflix with an incredibly fast speed. Plus, it allows unlimited number of devices at the same time. I mean, this is kind of sacred, but I gotta tell you, with Surfshark, you can't even share one account with all your families. That's kind of good news, right? If you click the link in the description and use the code Aaron and Claire, you will save 83% and get extra 3 months free as well. Also, Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to trying this out. You wanna stay safe online? Surfshark has got your back. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Surfshark. Now to a small container, add 3 tablespoons of Korean chili pepper flakes, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, which is completely optional, and give that a good mix. That's it! It's nothing complicated, right? Just by wetting our chili pepper flakes, you can keep them safe from burning. Bye bye burn taste! And speaking of chili pepper flakes, I'm using gochugaru, Korean chili pepper flakes. Although there are so many great chili flakes out there, this has just the right amount of spiciness and it's a beautiful color. But if you don't have them right now, don't worry about it. Just use what you have. No problem at all. Alright, let's get cooking. 
add 3 tablespoons of oil into a wok and heat it over medium high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add the white part of the green onions, garlic, and ginger and let them cook for about 1 to 2 minutes. And then, once they get a little bit of color, add the ground pork, some black pepper, and saute for a couple of minutes. Here, make sure to break up the pork. And when the pork is cooked on the outside, reduce the heat to medium, add our lovely sauce, and keep stirring it for about 1 to 2 minutes. During this time, the fat from the pork meets our lovely chili pepper flakes, and they're gonna create an amazing chili oil. At this point, some of you might say, Aaron, I followed your directions, but mine is about to burn. What should I do? Then reduce it down to low heat or turn the heat off. If it looks like it's burning, that's burning right now. So if you think something goes wrong, trust your instincts and be more flexible. And while that's going, blanch your bok choy, but do not cook too long. A minute should be alright. Once that's done, cook your noodles in the same water according to the package instructions. Mine takes about 2 minutes to cook, but if your noodles take longer to cook, you better start preparing your noodles earlier than me. Alright, the noodles are ready to go. All you need to do is put your noodles into the wok and toast everything together as if you're a master chef. That's it! Couldn't be any easier, right? When the noodles are nice and coated, place your noodles on a plate. And top it up with some bok choy, green onions, and toasted sesame seeds. How does it look? It's hard to believe it's made in under 15 minutes, right? Alright, let's see how it tastes. Claire? Wow, it looks amazing. I love any kind of noodles, but look at this. Who can resist this? Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, two servings. Cheers! Mmm, 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 oh, but um, mmm, 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 그리고 이 칠리오일 향이 이게 미쳤어 진짜 뭔가 빈게 하나도 없어 고기에 마늘에 막 파향에 생강에 뭔가 꽉꽉 들어찬 것 같은 느낌? 음, 빈 맛을 하나도 찾아줄 볼 수가 없네 어, 향이 너무 좋아 Did you guys worry about 15 cloves of garlic? You don't have to It's so good here <laughs> And definitely we need to try with this little pieces of pork 빨간이 너무 맛있어 보인다. 나는 확실히 소고기를 원래 더 선호하긴 하는데 이런 식으로 고추기름에 이렇게 볶아서 하는 그런 음식에는 확실히 돼지고기가 맞는 것 같아. 음. 그리고 생각보다 맵지 않아. 보기엔 진짜 매워 보이잖아. 항상 하는 말이긴 하지만 그렇게 맵지 않다. 괜찮다. So if you wanna make it more spicy, bring this bad boy over here. Maybe that much. One teaspoon. And mix it a little bit. Ready? Mmm. Yoshi. Mmm. You need to add some water. I love it. I love it. I really like this. Mmm. But you know what? This is not the end. If you add a little bit of acidity here, it becomes even more delicious. A little bit, just a little bit. Mmm, 역시 약간의 그 산미가 이걸 더 완벽하게 만들어줬어. Mmm, I just love it. So good. Mmm. 뭐 이거 2인분이라고 했는데 끝도 없을 것 같아. 그냥 나 혼자 다 먹을 수 있을 것 같은데? 할거 그냥 다시 또 해! <웃음> 음. Today, I showed you how to make super simple chili garlic noodles. How was it? It's way easier than you think, right? As you can see, it doesn't require so much time and effort. So with this bad boy, I'm pretty sure you can have some time to chill out for the rest of the evening. You're welcome! Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.